right, so now we're ready to create our HUD and draw a crosshair to our screen. Uh, and of course we're going to need a crosshair to do that with. So I've given in the description to this video a crosshair texture that I'm using and is guaranteed to work in our project. Uh, you can feel free to use whichever uh, image that you can find. Uh, so if you have everything ready and you have the crosshair downloaded, I've created a folder just for the sake of ease um, in game and I've called it project assets so that we can know which are know where to find our custom assets that we're creating blueprints textures and stuff like that uh, and be able to distinguish them from the starter content so click import you can either right click in the folder an empty space and import to or you can just go to the folder and import and navigate to where you have your crosshair saved and then just click open on that don't worry about how it looks in the content browser um, it will draw properly and then just hit save and save selected and now we have a U asset of that texture and we can call it from our HUD class uh, speaking of which we're going to add code to the project and we're going to derive from the HUD class and we'll call it my HUD create that and let it uh, generate the projects. I'm going to hit no, I don't want to edit the code now because I already have um, Visual Studio open. Um, since I'm building from source, I'm going to close the window, let the debug finish, and then reload. And now we have myhud.h and myhud.cpp in which we now can give our uh, HUD class some functionality. So very first thing we need to do in order to um, to work with our HUD class is override the draw HUD, oops, virtual void draw HUD. We want to override this so that we can provide our own functionality for it. We want to make that public and in the private uh, accessor area we want to make ourselves a U texture 2D where we can uh, hold our um, texture information. We'll call that crosshair texture. We're also going to want to create a private function called draw crosshair so that we can uh, take some of the code out of uh, draw HUD and just basically provide a uh, logic in draw HUD and will do the actual drawing in their own respective functions. <coughs> Excuse me. So we'll create these functions and in the draw HUD the first thing we want to do is call its uh, parent function which has implementation that needs to be run before um, we get to run our code. Just things uh, like engine maintenance that needs to be done so that um, we're given the things that we need in order to actually process this stuff. And in the constructor is where we're actually going to um, pull our crosshair texture from the editor or from our resources. So we're going to use the constructor helpers and we'll use f object finder uh, we'll use the templated version and call it utexture 2d and then we'll call that crosshair texture object and we'll send it in um, text that tells it where to find it and we want to say well I want a texture 2d remember we don't put the u because the u is just annotation uh, to describe a u object which is something that is not in the scene but uh, is part of the engine. Um, A represents actor or anything that uh, derives from actor so that we know that it is an actor and it has certain functionality and it can be placed in the scene and F uh, prefixed means um, that it's a struct. There's uh, some history behind that um, in terms of Unreal they uh, they used it for a vector of uh, floats and then it just kind of stuck with structs so there's that history and then we're going to send in an apostrophe so that we'll send in two apostrophes because in, inside those we're going to give it the 
um, the directory in which our asset lays. So we'll use slash game slash I'm using project assets and then crosshair circular red dot crosshair circular oops circular red and then just add a semicolon on the end there and then we want to check if that actually works so if crosshair texture object has an actual object within it then we want to set our crosshair texture to that object so crosshair texture equals crosshair texture object dot object and now that we have a crosshair texture we can check in here if that crosshair texture has been filled then draw it to the screen. So what exactly is in the draw hair cross draw hair crosshair draw crosshair function? Well, we're going to position do all the position math uh, for the texture, and then we're going to use that to draw the texture. So we're going to need the texture width and the texture height, which will be as floats. So texture height is to start with width equals crosshair texture get surface width and then same thing for texture height except we're going to be getting the crosshair texture surface height we're going to need uh, two vector structures to hold the positions of the canvas center and the position of the texture relative to the center of the canvas so we'll do f vector 2d because we're working in a 2D uh, environment right now. And then we'll make that constant because we don't want to change that right now. We don't want it to change from when we make it to when we use it. And we'll call that sort of canvas center and we'll just say canvas oops, dot clip x, which is the bottom right, I think. Yep, bottom right clipping region. And then we'll multiply that by 0.5f to give it uh, to get half of the width. And then we'll do the same thing for clip y. And then we'll want another vector 2D, make that constant as well, and we'll call it the draw position, because we need to draw this crosshair relative to the center. And what I mean by that is we have to offset it, offset it because the texture is measured from a 0, 0 point in a corner, and we need to measure, uh, provide a 0, 0 point, I'm, I'm using quotations on my hand, um, that is uh, the center of the texture, and that center of the texture is also the center of the screen. So what we want to do is we want to get the center of the the, uh, the screen that we've got, and we want to get the x value, and you just want to subtract the texture width, half of the texture width from that value. And we want to do the same thing for canvas center y minus texture height times 0 0.5 to get half of it. So now we have our draw position, which will be right in the center of the screen and right in the center of the texture. Now that we have these fundamental, um, this fundamental information down, we can create a canvas tile item. And basically what this is, it's a way of um, consolidating all the information needed to draw an item. And that way we don't have to pass in multiple parameters to a uh, canvas draw function. We can just pass in this set of information. So we'll just call that tile item. And we'll s pass in the draw position. Well, we need a resource for it to draw, in which case we'll just use the crosshair texture, which is just a data structure that defines the information um, surrounding our texture. And we actually want the texture itself, which would be the resource uh, property of crosshair texture. And then we also want to give it a color. We can give it like a hint of yellow, or we can give it a hint of red, or whatever you choose. But we want it to be the same color that we're importing it as. So we'll do F linear color white. And we also have alpha channels in our uh, in our image, so we want to tile item blend mode, and we want it to be uh, oops e simple element blend mode, and we want it to be se underscore blend underscore translucent. That way we can it will draw not white or not black or whatever the default would be. It'll draw uh, translucent where the alphas are, where the alpha values are in that texture. So we'll do canvas, draw item, so we can actually draw the uh, 
the information to the screen and we'll pass in tile item. So now we have all this functionality in and it will be drawing but if you compiled and pressed play right now you'd get nothing. Why is that? Because our game mode needs to know that we plan on having um, a custom HUD class. So what we'll do is we will um, set that to our current um, implementation of it. So we'll just do HUD class equals and then lovely this lovely engine gives us a way to um, actually access the static property which will describe our class much like we have for the default pawn class and we'll just do a my HUD static class and of course because of this we need to include my HUD dot H so that we know exactly what that is so now if we compile this and run it we should have a, a crosshair texture right in the center of our screen okay so now that we're in our project we can go down here and hit play and look at that we now have a crosshair drawing in the center of our screen that's it for this part of the tutorial and in the next part we'll actually be casting a ray out as um, an implementation of a gunshot and um, setting up the blueprints for our enemies and some other cool stuff so um, see you then